me start off by saying that I'm not a saint, but I'm no demon child either, just saying. So a lot of you heard that I was suspended for a while. Well, this is that story. It was a rainy morning, so my mother decided to drive me to school. And she finally gets to school, and for the most part, everything's seeming fine. She tells me, hey son, don't do anything I wouldn't do, but I love you. I tell her the same thing back, bye mom, love ya. So I head into the school and I see my friends Haroon Skits and Dupop Dubly. We talk about the usual Monday stuff, the newest My Hero Academia episode and all that. Bro, did you see the newest My Hero Academia episode? Dude! So we get inside and Haroon pulls out this turtle toy. Hey look a bomb! He says jokingly. We mess around and I yell to my friends, I've got a bomb, I've got an explosive device! But, as I said that, guess who also heard me say that? One of our principals. I yelled it was a joke and I pointed to what I was talking about, but he was already like, nah bro, it's too late, you coming with me, they gonna have to search me. So I'm angry, I walk up there and the teachers just sit there looking at me. Once they catch a wind of what's happening, one finally says something. You know what your first amendment is, right? I was angry and admittedly had forgot, so I was like, nah, nah. Well, it's the freedom of speech, and while that protects you from saying most things, there are certain things you can't say, you know? I nodded and just waited until finally the principal came back in with a security guard. I already know what it is. I let him empty my backpack and stuff. Guess what? I'm fine. In my pockets, I only really had a fidget spinner, some money, and my phone. Clean once more. So they let me sit back down, and I'm just sitting waiting on an outcome. Then another principal walks in and he yells at me. Why would you say a dumb joke like that? You know, it's funny how you always find the right thing to say after the argument ends. I could have been like, oh, so you didn't make a dumb joke before? But oh well. So we eventually went to walk up to my locker, and I remember it clear as day. Sir, could you calm down? Sorry sir, there's nothing to be calm about, I said in my blind rage. So we hop up on the floor. I'm looking like a criminal, everybody sees me. He checks my locker, and since there's barely anything in it, I'm clean. Bro, have you seen the newest My Hero episode? So we go back, and I'm asking can I leave, cause remember, I gotta take a test. And then I hear the dread awful words. Oh no, we're, we're sending you home. What? Listen, Mama Beetle is a very good mama, but my older siblings tell a tale of a tyrant that would beat you for looking at you funny. And at that moment I was scared that that was what's going to awaken the Ultra Instinct within her. They eventually tell me that I can just go take the state test, then leave, but dang. So I take the test, and then I go. My heart is pounding, but on the outside I look calm and ready. So when I go into my mom's room, I sit down. What happened? And I tell her everything that's transpired over the past few hours. She laughed for a second, <laughs> but she did get serious. Why would you joke about something like that? Here we go, this is the serious part. If you were on the street or something, you could have just been gunned down. And the story on the news would have just been they saw a kid with a bomb in his hand and they had to shoot him down, period. Though I had a much to object to, I decided it was better if I had just cut my mouth shut. She does tell me to rerun the story and I tell her and she does laugh. She's like, <laughs> but I did take your Xbox though. Darn it! Moral of the story guys, watch what you say because things can go 0 to 100 real quick. Hey guys, it's the Amazing here. Don't forget to subscribe to Beetle and my own channel, which is in the description below. Au revoir.